This is a very elite status and a wonderful accomplishment. Only 21 other local jurisdictions in the entire country have met the tough standards for accreditation. This is a considerable accomplishment and further proof of the quality of our programs. The accreditation represents more than nine months of hard work to provide a documentation for meeting 64 requirements in 16 categories, including planning, resource management, training, and communications. That's just the start. To maintain the accreditation, localities have to be reassessed every five years to make sure that the capabilities haven't slipped. That's the good news. The sad news is that we're saying goodbye to Chris Voss, the Director of Emergency Management Office, who has been with the county since 2008 as our first Director of Emergency Management and Homeland Security. Chris is a dedicated professional, par none, who has contributed his best to Montgomery County. During the ratio in 2012, he spent time, nights, on the mattress. And I, I heard him a number of times on the, on the media, and he really pronounced the ratio correctly. It was the first time I ever heard it. The first time I ever heard the term the ratio came from Chris. No one knew what this term was, right? If you want to know about Chris' priorities, you need to look no further than an article he wrote for the emergency manager community when he decided to leave for Oregon. The article was his unofficial top 10 reasons you should consider this position. This might be the best job advertisement I've ever seen. At number 10 on the list, number 10, he said, the office has appropriate funding. Do it to him. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hear that very often. <laughs> Uh, I don't know about you, but that's a good number 10. Number four on the list refers to today's announcement. We were just EMPA accredited, so we might be doing something that is right. That's a really, really high one. But the number one reason Chris told his peers in the community that they should, they should consider applying here is that they have great staff members. I want to thank all of the staff who are here and all of the staff who have worked with Chris. That says a lot about Chris because he's talking about the staff and about what staff has accomplished, accomplished, not what he's accomplished. And we know that he's accomplished a great deal. This uh, is Chris's last official appearance. So I want to thank Chris for all the hard work, all that you've done, because you really placed Montgomery County on the map for all the right reasons. And I want to congratulate you and thank you so very much. This is a real accomplishment. Thank you, Chris. I have to admit that when I first came on the council, I was a skeptic about the department. And I've really seen um, a change in, in the department over the years I've been on the council. And I have to say that, that Chris is um, probably one of the most enthusiastic directors to come in front of the council. He seems like it's hard to contain him in his chair. <laughs> um, he's been genuinely excited about this. And I think that his excitement has probably infused throughout um, his office and I think that the people who work for him kind of reflect his enthusiasm and reflect the sense of possibility. Um, what, what I think is probably most important is you know, we, we are increasingly aware of unpredictable events that can visit the population. Storms, um, they seem to be more often in, in greater severity and all the stuff we don't want to talk about and think about but is always lurking out there. And we are far more prepared to deal with those things today than we were eight years ago. There is just a sea change and, and a level of coordination between departments in the county, which did not exist um, before Chris came along and worked in, in that department. So I really want to thank him for the changes there. I also want to you know, acknowledge the work of the department in getting the accreditation. That, that is no small feat either to be first in the state and one of 20 so in the country. You have to meet pretty strict criteria. People have to be able to look at your work and say this isn't fluff, this is real. And I think that um, you've done a really good job of getting the department prepared. And uh, we're going to miss you. Um, Oregon, I'm sure, will enjoy you. I'm, they have adequate natural disasters out there. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't have a duration. But they have volcanoes. Yeah, they don't, don't have, have volcanoes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> you'll have a whole new dimension to prepare for. <laughs> but I want to thank you for everything you've done in the department and thank the, the folks in the department for all the work they've done. Because as Chris has said, you know, it's not, it's not him. 
It's about the whole department pulling together and making it work. So we all appreciate what you've done. Thank you very much. MEMA and the state of Maryland is also an accredited body within uh, the Emergency Management Accreditation Program. So I can tell you that it's no small feat to go through this process and get accreditation. And uh, you've heard that most local jurisdictions across this country, in fact, only a, a very small handful are accredited. Uh, not every state is accredited either, so it's uh, very difficult. I'm also a, an assessor and a team leader who goes out and puts uh, these programs through the, through the, the runners to see what they have. Uh, and uh, again, I'll tell you that it's, a, it's an impressive feat uh, to get accreditation. And you don't go into this lightly. Uh, so we've worked with Chris. Uh, we will miss him also at, at MEMA, uh, not only for the state, uh, but for the national capital region as well. So congratulations uh, on the accreditation and your new position, and uh, thank you. Uh, it's an honor to be here uh, and to speak with all of you on uh, our accreditation program, and particularly on Montgomery County's incredible effort. Through accreditation, you're setting an example for other programs to follow, not just here in Maryland, but nationwide, as becoming accredited encourages these programs that are already, and there's only 21 local programs. Remember, there's 3,000 counties in the United States, 3,069 counties and county analogs in the United States, and only about a dozen counties uh, are currently accredited. And it's, there's, this is a really hard thing to do. And you're encouraging those counties that are accredited to remain accredited, and you're encouraging counties like mine to go through the process. We're in, in, in the process now in my own county. As you know, EMAP is a voluntary accreditation program for emergency, uh, accreditation system for emergency management programs, not just for the department, but this reflects on the entire Montgomery County government effort towards uh, prevention, mitigation, preparedness, response, and recovery across the board from procurement and finance to police and fire. Your desire and your efforts to continue to strengthen the county's preparedness and ability to deal with disasters will benefit the safety and security of Montgomery County residents, businesses, and people like me who are merely visitors. Accreditation demonstrates to all of them and to the rest of your state the leadership that this county has taken in putting the public safety first across the entire board. Now, to become accredited, a program has to go through a lot. This is a, a pretty serious process. First, the program does a self-assessment, which is hopefully an honest look at how they're doing. Then they invite a bunch of strangers, a national cadre of uh, accreditation specialists who are emergency managers from across the U.S. who come in and take a look at all of your records and your processes and see how they stack up against 64 standard areas, 100 and some odd actual program areas are, are actually measured. It takes some courage to allow outsiders to come and look at how you do things and tell you whether or not they meet a national standard. After that, their recommendation is sent to a program review committee, which takes an even finer look at things and questions everything they looked at. And then finally, that accre accreditation program pushes it forward to us at the Emergency Management Accreditation Program Commission, which are 12 state and county and city directors, a representative from uh, higher education and a representative from the private sector and international representatives, who take a look at all of that recommendation process and then make a final determination. There is no rubber stamp. There is no easy path to accreditation. Uh, getting it done takes serious effort. It will also take some dedication to maintain accreditation and so um, the, uh, the Commission and all of us in emergency management will be looking to Montgomery County to see how you guys do and how you guys manage to pull this off going forward over the next five years. I'd like to commend the hard work of Director Voss and uh, Chris your entire team in getting this done. I'd like to thank Montgomery County for allowing them that staff time and that staff effort to interrupt day-to-day -day stuff, to gather all these things together and to bring strangers in to take a look at things. You've achieved your goal in, in proving that you have a strong and viable program that will continue to protect those that live, work, and visit Montgomery County. So with this very heavy plaque, which is just merely a symbol of all the effort, Chris, if you would please. On behalf of the Emergency Management Accreditation Program, whoop, upside down, there we go. Now you get the picture. Uh, on, on behalf of the Emergency Management Accreditation Program Commission, I'd like to congratulate you and Montgomery County on achieving this unbelievable and difficult task of accreditation. Great. Well, thank, you. thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, I know a lot of great emergency managers out there, and uh, they haven't been able to, I think, achieve uh, what Montgomery County has been able to achieve. And, and I don't think that has as much to do with me as much as it has to do 
with the people around the room. So there's, in, in my experience, there's three things that I think that you really need to have to have a successful program. And when we built this program, yes, it's, it's labeled emergency management, but it touches every part of the county. And so uh, uh, that first component that you really need to build one of these programs is the people sitting around. So uh, yes, we often think of police and we often think of fire and, and, and they are some of the cornerstones these programs in the health department. Uh, but I'm also seeing the finance, uh, Department of General Services, uh, you're seeing transportation, uh, you're seeing the 311, you're seeing uh, PIO. All of these pieces are critical for us um, because at the end of the day, those are the pieces that, that make it happen. Um, the next component I would say that's critical to build a great program uh, is the staff. And, and uh, I remember when I started, um, I sat down with Tom Street and I said, you know what, it's not about more, it's about better. And um, we want to be able to go down that path. And uh, I, I did indicate appropriate uh, funding, um, you know, and I want to, you know, thank. Uh, but, you know, our budget has actually decreased 20% in the last six years. Um, and we are the appropriate funding because it's less about the dollars and more about the right people. And I think that we have to remember that that's key. Uh, more is not always better. And then that brings me to my last you know, component, that last leg of what a successful program is. And I, I think that's the administration. Um, you know, that is council making sure that we're having the resources. And that's uh, people like Ike and Tim Firestein um, helping to make sure that we have the right programs. And then um, I think for me, uh, the last key that I want to discuss when I talk about sort of that third leg that, that empowered us and allowed us to be where we are today is uh, Tom Street. Um, you know, Tom has been my right arm, so when I have a problem or an issue, that's where I go. And uh, he's been a great mentor, a great confidant, but he's also allowed both myself and the office the flexibility to get the job done. And um, sometimes when you could have someone that shields you that way, it's amazing how far you can go and how fast you can get there. And uh, along those lines, one of the first reports I read when I was assessing this program six and a half years ago when I walked in the door was uh, an emergency management accreditation program um, you know, checklist of where they were in the program, and we were 21% compliant. And so I put together a long list of things I wanted to accomplish, and on one of them was EMAP accreditation. Um, and I knew that meant going from 21% to 100%. And uh, I'm just ecstatic that we got to get there, but I'm even more excited to know that when I leave that this program will be just as strong as it was when I was here because we have all the right people and all the right tools. So for that, my hat's off to all of you. I want to thank you all. Uh, we've heard from a number of people here today recognizing the great work that has uh, been accomplished in this department. Um, we know all the great things that uh, we hope to be accomplished in the future, but uh, this is one department uh, that I hope that we're already, we're, we're constantly prepared and we seldom have to use, yeah. you know, because uh, I don't like the term the ratio. And in, in my in, in my term in, in office thus far, I think I've seen it all. I've seen uh, winter storms uh, that was the snowmageddon. Uh, I've seen several of those ice storms. Uh, we even had an earthquake, uh, brush fires. Uh, you name it, it we've had it. Uh, I once said that if someone called me at the middle of the night and said that Montgomery County was being swarmed by locusts of <laughs> biblical proportion, I would probably believe it because I've seen it all. Uh, but we are in good hands. And so I'm going to announce today that Chuck Chris Otomo, our current Deputy Director of Emergency Management, will be our new Acting Director. So let's give him a round of applause for Chuck. But as again, I want to thank all of you in the department, but more importantly, to thank you, Chris, for what you've done you. and what you continue to do. Um, Oregon's loss is, uh, is uh, Montgomery County's loss is Oregon's gain. And we know that you will continue to work just as hard there and carry the many things that you've learned and been able to experience here from Montgomery County. And when they get one of these, I hope they have not gotten it already. You tell them they're behind Montgomery County. <laughs> Thank you very much for all coming out today. <laughs>